The materials needed are as follows. A hospital binder. The cut for custom TLSO materials. A heat gun. A stockinette, body sock, or other interface for the patient. And a Teflon sheet. Apply stockinette, body sock, or other interface to the patient. Lay the posterior panel on the Teflon sheet and heat evenly until it is malleable. Apply the adhesive dots over the screws. Carefully log roll the patient onto his or her side. Use assistance if the weight or size of the patient prevents a smooth log roll or if the patient has an unstable fracture. Using assistance may also reduce undue stress on your back. Position the posterior panel so that it is centered to midline. It should extend from the sacrococcygeal junction and terminate just inferior to the scapular spine. Use the hospital binder to help with orthosis placement. Smooth the material as you would plaster of Paris to assure intimate fit to the body contours. Add modifications as needed to the orthosis, such as scapular flares. Rolling the patient's supine while allowing the posterior panel to cool may decrease lordosis in the orthosis. You can also leave the patient on his or her side until the orthosis cools. This will be up to the practitioner with consideration to the type of trauma sustained. Turning the straps outward, heat the anterior panel evenly until it is malleable. Apply the adhesive dots over the screws. Open the binder and apply the interior panel. Cinch and secure the binder to hold the orthosis in place. Once again, use your hands to smooth the material as you would plaster of Paris. Add modifications to the orthosis as needed, such as distal flares, for comfort while sitting. Allow the orthosis to cool before securing the straps. The screws may pull through the material if it is not completely cooled. Once the orthosis has cooled, feed the straps through the loops. Tighten the distal straps first. Then tighten the proximal straps to patient tolerance. Mark the straps for patient reference to assure repeatable and consistent application. Trim any excess strap material. Stretch the liner over the posterior panel with a circular opening on the same side as the straps. Pinch the liner to cut small holes just above the silver screws on the straps. Gently stretch the hole you just cut and pull the straps through it, securing the liner under the straps.
stretch the liner over the anterior panel with a circular opening on the same side as the straps. Secure the straps by folding them onto themselves and turning them inward. Pinch the liner to cut small holes just above the silver screws on the straps. Gently stretch the hole you just cut and pull the straps through it, securing the liner under the straps. Once physician clearance is received, the patient can sit up and or begin physical therapy.